Welcome, my name is Nick with Rare Combinations LLC. Today, I'll be demonstrating how to use our new alcohol detector. First, the detector must be turned on and allowed to warm up for 15 minutes. The new software monitors this with a countdown timer. Be sure that a clean and empty sample tube is screwed in during the warm-up process. Before using the detector for the first time, be sure to perform the fine-tuned temperature calibration. For this device, the calibration temperature is about 28.75 degrees Celsius. Now that the detector is warmed up, the screen will display the alcohol percentage and the temperature of the sample. It is advised to do each sample in duplicate to reduce the chance of reading errors. To prepare samples, add 10 to 20 milliliters of your sample to a tube. In this case, we are testing 0.5% alcohol. One thing to note is that no foam or liquid should be allowed to enter the detector. To prevent this, you can add a drop of anti-foam or a milliliter or two of vegetable oil. It may be required to cool your sample slightly to be approximately below the calibration temperature. While leaving the detector on, screw in a prepared sample. Ensure no excess foam is being produced in the tube. Watch the temperature reading. It should be at or below your calibration temperature. If the temperature is below your calibration temperature, simply warm the sample with your hand until it is up to temperature. Record the alcohol percentage once the temperature is reached and the alcohol readings are stable. This should take between 30 seconds and two minutes, depending on how long it takes to reach the calibration temperature. Readings longer than two minutes tend to fall slightly in alcohol percentage. After testing each sample, screw in a tube filled with 20 to 30 milliliters of water for about 30 seconds until the detector reads 0% again. Now you may repeat this procedure with as many samples as you would like. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to contact me through the email address in the video description. Thank you.